Hey, how's it going guys? Diamond here. And today I'm going to be doing a video that I kind of kept away in the books for a long time, mainly because I don't like doing it, but I'm going to be doing it for you guys today. As much as it pains me, I'm going to be doing a bungee setup. A few key notes that you should know before even starting the setup. A bungee server usually only requires about a gigabyte. If you're going for a large network, we do recommend you going for a four gigabyte. Please not take that information wrongly. If you're going to a server host and you're going to buy it for the first time and you're still going to set up your network, go for one gigabyte. It is not going to affect your entire bungee network at all. The bungee server itself only needs to be a gigabyte for now the sub servers can be as many as you want 6 10 15 all anything you really want that's up to you i will be doing this on revive node and what's that you don't know what revive node is well revive node sells premium servers for budget prices and using the promo code diamond in all caps you can get 15 percent off your very first purchase today and with full discord support and a version changer you can pretty much set your own bungee server really quick it's that simple and there's gonna be a full link for them in the description down below i use them i recommend them i just want to leave this at one small important information please please do not try to host your entire network on your computer that's going to take resources from your computer and secondly that's going to expose your ip making it easier for other people to ddos you dox you or anything between so please do not do it i don't want to see any of my viewers having problems with that but enough said and done Let's get cracking on with this video, shall we? All right, so let's get started here. Of course, I'm gonna be using Revive Node as a base because I won't be needing to go into separate websites and download all the separate jars and everything. It's all right here in one single package. Pretty straightforward. I do also want to inform you that Spigot does have their own dedicated page on how to do all this stuff. So if you want to check it out, there are the downloads as well. I've done a video on how to set up a server for 1.17 in the past, and we're gonna be running all this on the latest. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. What we're gonna start with is the Bungie server as it's the most simplest out of all of them. What we're gonna do, first of all, is select our version. Again, we're gonna be using everything as latest. So I'm just gonna go ahead and install the 1.17 Bungie cord and i'm gonna go into files as you can see it's right there and we can start it up this shouldn't take too long and just like that it's already up so we're gonna go ahead and file manager and we have a bunch of new files what we're gonna mainly focus on is the config this is gonna be a very straightforward process by the way so now that we're on the page what we're gonna do is from servers right here in line 15 this may be different than yours if you boot it up more than once but what we're gonna do is copy the lobby all the way down to restricted. Click enter once and back up all the way. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste that again. We're only gonna have two different servers. I just wanna know. So we're not gonna need any more than this. I'm gonna go ahead and change the names to whatever I want. These are the MLTDs of each single server. I'm just gonna change this hub server. And then I'm gonna change the next one to faction server. Next thing we need to do is change all of them to the IPs. We can go ahead and grab both of them. So I can copy the factions, paste it down here, and I can copy the hub and paste it up here. That's pretty straightforward. We can even name these so it doesn't have to be lobby. We'll name them to hub because this is necessary as well. And factions. Keep in mind that however you name these is how you're gonna be able to teleport to the other server slash server. And then that's how you get into there. So whatever you put the name is this, that's gonna be how you get into the server. Just wanna make sure that's clear. Next thing I'm gonna do is actually make myself as an admin. So we can actually remove MD underscore five, which is the owner of Spigot. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put my name. And as you see right there, I am an admin. If you ever want to change or add more permissions to a certain group, you would do it up here. You can see all the permissions over at the actual Bungie Core page. And you can just add them as any other normal permission plugin it's actually permission x we are not required to change this if you are doing this on a local host again please don't do this on a local host as you will be exposing your ip and you can get ddos next thing we're going to do is change the mltd so we can change it to whatever we want here i'm going to go ahead and change it a nice server we're going to force people to join the hub first so we can go ahead and put hub and then the priority is also going to be the hub we're going to keep online mode true because we want players with a actual account to join if you don't want them to join you got to put that to false force default server i actually want them to go to the hub always first you can change this to however you like if you want to and we're going to change the last thing to ip forwarding the true we can save that and that is everything we need to do in the bungee server we can go ahead and close it stop the server and we can start it back up now that it's back up you can see right here everything's running perfectly fine we didn't get any errors we're going to go to the actual sub servers we're going to start them up at least once and i do have 1.17 pre-installed all of them with java 16 running 
Once all the servers are on, you can actually go ahead and just turn them off immediately. As long as we have all the files generated, that's exactly all we need. We're going to go ahead and go into the spigot.yml and in here, you're actually going to enable bungee cord. So right here, bungee cord and in paper, this may be different to be, be called bungee mode or anything between that. All you have to do is change it to true. And what we can do after that is go into our server.properties, go into line 18 and change online mode from true to false. However, if you do do this, this is going to make your backend very open to any alt accounts joining. This means crack accounts, anything like that, they can join immediately into the sub servers without going for the bungee cord. This is extremely important that you add bungee cord or at least a whitelist plugin so that they only join through the bungee cord. I'll have a future video on how to set that up, but for now, this is the easiest process. So we can go ahead and save that. But for now, we're not actually going to be doing it. I'll leave a link when the video's out in the description down below. For now, what we can do is just click save content and then go into our console and start it up again we're going to do the same exact process on the faction server so i'm going to go ahead and skip that and show you guys what's left to do all right so we have all the servers booted up and we have everything pre-configured what we're going to do now is just type in the ip and we're going to go ahead and immediately just join in the server we should automatically be joined in the hub and as you can see right here i'm in the hub pretty straightforward and we can do slash server and we have the right there hub and factions we are currently in the hub so that means we wouldn't be able to join as we already are connected but we can do slash factions and we can join the faction server of course there's literally nothing in here as you can see there are different servers as well this isn't just a multiverse or a plugin um it works just the way it's intended to and again we're doing this all in the latest versions of minecraft if i wanted to go back to the hub i could just do slash server hub there are some smaller commands slash server list there are some other commands as well that you can do slash send but i won't actually have permission for that it doesn't really matter there you go guys that was the whole video right there hope you guys have enjoyed if you guys want to see any more tutorials like this please let me know in the description down below it is pain me to do this video because bungee setups are not fun trust me i've done this way too many times in my life but other than that hope you guys have a amazing day and i hope you enjoy this video i'm diamond and i'll probably maybe see you next time cheers